Let's talk about another severe form of pain, which is very poorly managed today, and that is pain and nervous system pain, neuropathy associated with chemotherapy. We've made tremendous advances in the treatment of cancer. Many patients receive drugs to treat chemotherapeutic agents to treat cancer, and these drugs are very effective. Unfortunately, many of the drugs that are very potent and effective also have toxic effects on the nervous system. Patients have severe pain called therapy-induced peripheral neuropathy, or CIPM. Sometimes because of this neuropathy, the chemotherapy agents have to even have their dose be limited because patients are in such discomfort. Drugs used to treat chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy are notoriously ineffective. People have tried cannabidiol with modest effects. People have tried gabapentin, opioids, but no drug works really well. Again, the serotonin receptors seem to be very important in chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy. There are small trials ongoing with psilocybin in this indication, but again, we have much more sharper and precise uh, drugs that can exploit the serotonin pathway and treat chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy. So we remain optimistic that we are going to explore the use of our compounds in these hard-to-treat pain and avoid the excessive use of opiates and provide a treatment to these patients where no treatment exists.